At this point, Chad, he's definitely a dude boy. He do everything but make my bed and wash my drawers. And I, I, can, I can handle them, too. Good, man. I'll be awesome. Hey, don't you get a little brother like that? That's crazy. I've only been in the pod for a couple days, but it's uh, very clear to me that Chad is Tony's bitch. Anything Tony tells Chad to do, Chad does. Damn, Tony, you got him trained, don't you? Right. <laughs> Tony's familiar with the jail system. Tony knows how the insides of the jail systems work. I think it was smart for him to take somebody like Chad and put him to work for him uh, because that put Tony in a position of kind of like a power in, within the pod. But uh, just taking advantage of, the, of, a, of an individual like that, I wouldn't feel okay having somebody do that for me because being a law enforcement officer, stand up for the underdog or stand up for the low man is what my job is to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see a uh, crossword puzzle book on the seal's desk. I'm like, I want that. I know I'm not gonna get it. So I said, hey, Chad, uh, I need this uh, crossword puzzle book. Oh, you want that cuz? Yeah, I want that, man. Coming in here, playing an inmate, you know, one of my main things was I wanted to test the jail in every opportunity that was presented. And I'm like, OK, here's another opportunity. Chad is definitely an expert thief. He he know how to, he, he can get what he want. He real smooth with what he do too. Like he official official. He done that a time or two. <laughs> so get it, boom. Take it in the wrong, we good, good. at the cameras. I saw. That was a plain effort. In the facility, there's several cameras mounted within every pod. And while Tony has Chad and go back there getting the items, I believe the other CEOs from another area are watching the cameras. Was it really worth it? It was I'm like, dang, man, I know he gone. He gone. Hey. If you get caught stealing something from the CO desk, there's no outside charges. You do a week to two weeks in the hole. You feel bad for Chad? Yeah, I do. I feel bad for Chad because, yeah, I don't think it was fair. Uh, uh, Chad was definitely being taken advantage of. Uh, he was definitely the pawn in that game, uh, and he got caught doing what Tony asked him to do. He in the hole, yeah, because of something that I asked him to do. But I mean, this is jail. He a grown man. He make his own decisions. Did I take it a step too far? No, no. I don't feel like there's no boundaries. There, there, there's no. <gasps> that shouldn't be a. <gasps> and nothing I do. So X all that out. If you feel that way, I'm sorry for you. Turn the channel. Coffee. I know there was coffee here. Whoever took the coffee brings it back. Otherwise, it's gonna get real ugly. I don't think anybody touched your stuff, Sarah. Just leave me alone. Dirty asses. And I'm getting drunk in the jail. 
This is messed up, sir. You don't like me too bad. I don't want you to like me. Just cut your hands and don't get near, near me or my stuff. Allow your ass is low lights. Just get the out of my life. Just get the f out of my life. They get moved they get moved up, cause ain't nobody in this room with low life. So watch your mouth. We all got life, so we're not low lives. In I-21, we're like a family. I'm protective over these women. You know what I'm saying? I already had that protective instinct. I didn't even do you. I didn't do none of what you wanted to hurt anybody. You wanted to take your energy. You wanted to take your energy. You're an ugly person, Sarah. You're an ugly person. Yeah, sure, sure. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, if you need to leave, just leave. God bless you. God bless you. Lord have mercy. God bless you. I told everybody in the room already that I do not want to talk to anybody because they're hypocrites and they steal. Angel, her and her girlfriend are having sex. I hear them like, you know, sex sounds and sex everything and I turn the other way to give them privacy. She doesn't even appreciate anybody who respects her because she doesn't have respect to herself. I'm sick of people having sex and looking into each other's underwears and all these things. That I don't like being disrespected and I don't like when people have to talk about people in a nasty way. So I have to say something. You always talking some this, this girl. She always talking about how people be stealing from her. Shut the up, bro. Shut up. Shut up. You you can't Angel is not really thinking about the consequences that can happen from what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. Were you decided, man, to be a man or a woman? Yeah, I could talk to you. I don't talk to you to have any reason, okay? Sahar, she was extremely disrespectful. What am I going to do? Just sit there and let that person disrespect me and disrespect my people? I'm not going to do it. This bitch right here played this. What's up? What's up? What's up? For her to forget who she was in the midst of everything that we're doing was very shocking. It's preposterous. It's ridiculous. I've never, ever been in a situation like this in my life. I know that bitch. Hey, you guys. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, what are you doing? You're here to do a job, and you are fighting people. I, uh, I see Tony G, the old man, in the uh, intake and booking. I took the old man 50 bucks, and I put it on my books. When I see him, first thing I'm thinking is, like, he loaded. He got more money than I got on my books. So, uh, Tony G, he wanted some store items. He didn't know how to do it, so I decided to help him, you know, set it up. I'm doing a lot of observing. Uh, I was able to see Tony helping out other inmates. You know, inmates, we're opportunists. You know, you put an opportunity in front of us, we're gonna take advantage of it. This is the perfect opportunity to steal his PIN number. I got his PIN.
I don't know what Tony's scheme to do, but it don't look good. At that point, I just started getting a whole bunch of commissary. And I've been bunning his ass up. <laughs> I'll be having another big store like I had last phase, but I'm not paying for it this time. I got a suit for you for two trials. How far is too far, and how far is just far enough? You know what I mean? It's just part of the hustle. He got 700 bucks. He lucky I ain't got a video of this. I already get in the pocket then. <laughs> Okay to steal from an old man? Um, for me, that's that's uh, theft theft. I don't mean it. I don't mean your man spending my money. Tony's a team leader, so I think if Tony uses that as a teaching lesson, that's fine. I think if he uses the man's money, that's taking that a step too far. Right. So I just want to clear some stuff up with Tony G. The whole purpose of that was to test the jail system, and it failed. I can do anything I want to do in the COs. They're not going to. They're oblivious. Why would you allow an inmate to have that much money? Should I feel bad because I'm undercover and I'm a participant? Yes. But if I was really in jail, that's the nature of the beast. So it's like you shouldn't be shocked. Tony was also trying to show me why it's important to keep my inmate number covered up in my pin codes, because it happens that you get taken advantage of daily in there. With Tony G, I'm going to definitely replace the money. And if you're watching this and judging me, the sheriff asked me to assist to do something, so I'm doing it. And y'all don't understand, like, what it takes to survive here. Nah, he... He switched him out. He said, I know what he did. I feel like I'm up in Trump or something. They number 10 down. But still, that's the principal. I don't need to give a about the 10 down. That's the principal, man. You play me out of the heat. Most of the fights in jail are because you didn't pay your debt. The inmate don't look at it as the debt not being paid as much as it's a lack of respect to them. Like at three in the morning, I was knocked out, and Dexter out here, boom, 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 boom. The shekels was just whooping his ass in that shower, and it was, it's kind of scary. Cause I was like, I regret taking over Mo from shekels. I could have actually been the one who got stumped out. As a police officer, I'm sworn to protect. Quit, man. Oh. So it's just uh, hard to stay focused and in character. I didn't even get to do what I want to do to him. Let him go, Eric. 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 Let him go. Eric. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I 
don't know if the guards know them. They don't act like they have any clue that anything exceptional is going on. This down here getting stumped out in the shower, and they go to the wrong room. At that point, I was like, I don't think nobody going to protect me in this. And the dude didn't snitch or nothing. He just went to his bunk, laid under his cover, tried to hide it. And me, I didn't want to, hey, CO, uh, uh. The guards obviously don't give a about what's going on in here. The Clark County Jail has an extremely antiquated camera system, and the officer can only see one section at a time. It makes it hard for them to do their job to the best of their ability. It makes it tough for me, too. I got Giddy. Come on, man. I got to. Come on. Jordan, come here. Tell him, uh, uh, I'm going to thump him all the way out. I'm going to beat him up every day till you go or you pay up what you up. Oh, oh man. man. This is really good. Hey. Hey. What's wrong with you, bleed? I don't know. Poor. He didn't go back in there. You're wrong, bro. Never done a damn thing to you. So basically, you call him a liar. I'm definitely calling somebody a liar, yes. Oh, shit. Come on, brother, do it. No, bitch, you ain't done it. It got real serious, and I was just, like, nervous. I was like, I'm going to beat you up every single day. Don't get on the butt. I ain't getting on no butt, man. Wherever we at, we fighting on the spot. In the morning time, you go get your trail, I'm smack it out of your hand, I'm gonna smack it. Seeing shekels reminded me of being in Detroit. I had a cousin who was killed right on the corner of our block. It's pretty rough just, you know, seeing all that stuff. Now my son's out, I'm gonna send him out on the stretcher tomorrow. 